this YouTube studio is fake. I know you are wondering how, but don't worry. In just three steps, I'm going to show you how you can change the background of your YouTube videos and make them look more professional. The best part is, you don't have to buy expensive equipment and accessories like what you are seeing in the background behind me. At the end of the video, if you find it useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Let's get into the video. The first step is to record your video. Here are some tips when recording your video. 1. Make sure you have good lighting. Currently, I have one light source. That is a ring light facing me. If you have more than one, that you can put some at the sides. That would be great. But if you don't have any light at all, you can sit in front of your window. Just make sure you have enough light on the subject so that you don't have light issues later when you change your background. The second and last tip is to make sure that your video is stable and there are no shakes in your video so that later when you change the background of your video, it will sync well with the new background. The best practice is to put it on a tripod. Once you are done recording your video, the next step is to get a background image. So we are going to download our image from freepick.com. Open your favorite browser and search for freepick.com. Once you get to the home page, click on the search bar and search for YouTube Studio Background. There are several background images available here. Choose any background or image of your choice. In this tutorial, I'm going to select this image. Once you open it, click on the download button below. Click on download again. And as you can see, your image is downloading. And now the final step is to edit your video. In this tutorial, we are going to use CapCut. Head on to CapCut and create a new project. First, select your background image. Next, let's overlay the video on top of the image. So click on Overlay, then add Overlay. Select your video. I'm just going to select any video from my gallery. Resize your video to fit the screen. Next, let's remove the background of the video. But before that, let's extend the length of the background to match that of the video. So let's head on and remove the background. Navigate and look for cutout. Click on cutout. Then click on remove background. Wait a few seconds for CapCut to remove the background for you. Once the background is removed, the next thing I would like to do is to add a blur effect to the background so that the video will stand out. Navigate and click on effects, then video effects. Sorry, my network is a bit slow. Search for Blair. You can either search for it on the search bar or locate it at the Lens tab. Click on Lens and search for Blair. Click on Blair. You can click on it again to adjust the intensity of the Blair. I think I will go for something like 20. I think that's fine for me. Click on OK. Adjust the blur to affect the entire video. Our video is looking good so far. But there's one thing you can do. You can adjust the video so that it can blend with the background a little bit. So navigate and locate adjust. Play around it and see how best you can make the video blend with the background so i'll adjust the contrast a little bit something like 20 i'll check the saturation
you can play around it and see how best you can make your video blend with the background I think I won't change the exposure let me adjust the shadows I think uh, 10 will be fine then I'll go for temperature and 20 is okay by me that's fine it's looking good and then I'll adjust the heel 20 will do for heel too and then feed Thing five is okay. You can adjust to suit your interest. Okay, so I think our video is looking very, very good. At the end of the video, if you find it useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If you want to learn more about editing in CapCut, check out this playlist where I have a complete beginner to advanced CapCut editing tutorial and other amazing videos to help enhance your video editing skills. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.